Hello everybody, um, I'm back again for my HTML for beginners uh, videos. Uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to format font and how to insert pictures into HTML files. So um, to do this tutorial you're going to need um, a picture. Um, I've chosen a JPEG picture. It's just a picture of London as you can see. Um, and again we're going to need a text editor um, as I say in all videos you can do this on Windows or Mac or anything I just happen to be doing this in my VirtualBox Linux so anyway um, to get started I'm going to save uh, this HTML document in the same uh, folder as that picture so in video 2 um, and we're going to call it index.html. Now the reason I'm calling it index, as I forgot to mention last video, is because every time you navigate to a website, the index file is the website is the HTML file you actually go on to. So I don't want to do that. Um, I'll see if I can give you an example of that. Um, okay. So you've got the BBC News file, um, hopefully the index file will work. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm about to find you one now. Um, what simple websites are there? Oh, mine's gone completely blank. I'm sure Google will work. Yeah, there you go. So um, the index file is the one you automatically go to. If you type that in, you'll go to exactly the same page as you can see. Uh, some websites are just set up a bit differently, like the BBC News website, which completely failed. There you go. Um, so, save that. Okay. So, we're going to start again. Ooh. HTML. As you can see, the um, tags instantly show up now that I've saved it first as an HTML file. So, I'll go title, uh, we'll go images and formatting. Uh, we'll go for the body now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some bold text. So go B. We're going to go uh, this text is in bold. So the B tag, you can see, makes text bold. Uh, as with most most things in HTML, you of course end it with the slash B. There's a few exceptions, uh, namely with the image. Uh, tag which I'll show you later. The whole thing's a tag really so it doesn't really count but there you go. Um, we'll put a bit of break in there. Uh, we'll go italics. This text is in italic. Okay, do another break. Um, this time we will do... I know what we'll do. We'll do um, some super text and some subtext. So we'll go... Uh, how can I phrase this? Ooh. Hold shift too long. <laughs> right. Um, go this text can be SUP for super text. Hi. Come out of super text. Or uh, subtext. Low. And end the subtext tag. Um, okay, so now we'll do some headings. So H1, which is the biggest heading you can have on HTML, stands anyway under the headings tag. We'll go. This is the largest heading. So H1, uh, H2. This is this is a smaller heading. Uh, H2 and we'll go H3 and we'll stop there. And I've got my capitals kind of fat. Okay. So H3. Right. 
Um, now what we'll do is we'll do some fonts and we'll do some colours. Um, this tag is quite an advanced one. Uh, you have to sort of play around with what fonts it allows and font sizes and everything. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start off with the font size. Let's go font size equals seven. Got some nice colours going on there. Uh, face, which is basically font. We'll go Arial, and then the colour, spelled the American way. Um, uh, we'll do red. Okay, and then end that tag, and then I'll type. We can also write in a colour, spell the English way, because I'm English, and the only reason I've written it there is because I've been forced to. But there you go. Full stop. Okay, so slash font. Um, we'll do a couple more breaks as usual. And then we'll do an image file. So this image here, as I've already shown you. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to type the image tag, which is img src equals, which stands for source. So this is where your image is located. Now I've deliberately put it in the same folder because I don't have to do sort of select where the folder is, so I won't have to sort of have slash html slash video2 and then put it in. I can just go straight to london.jpg. Okay. And then you do ALT, which stands for alternative text. Um, and we'll do this is an image of London. slash close brackets so you can see that that's what I was mentioning it's just a whole tag in one you don't have to sort of section in the middle with two tags on the outside so um, that's the end of it um, I've bound to have made a mistake I always do with programming but there you go I'll see if it works all for you and then I'll show you exactly how it works oh that looks perfect so um, where am I there you go so Starting off, we've got images, images and formatting up the top again. We've got the bold text there, the italic text. Oh, yeah, the italic text there. Um, we've got the superscript and the subscript. As you can see there, it goes slightly above and slightly below. And then you can see with H1, H2, H3, the heading slowly gets smaller. Uh, you can get further and further down. I'm not sure what the limit is really. Um, this is the color tag. You can see size 7, face aerial, color red. And the image, there you go. Um, we go view image info, and then you've got the text there. That's a bit of a description of it. This is an image of London. Uh, on most browsers, you can just hover over it, and it'll tell you what it says. But on here, it's not doing it for some reason. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Um, thanks for watching, everyone.